G'day, I'm Luke from Drifter, and I'm going to show you the drawers for our FJ Cruiser. Now this is it here, okay, we call them the FJ drawers, we specially designed them and made them to suit exactly the space we have. Okay, this is our cruiser here that we bought um, about 18 months ago, so by having the truck ourselves we've been able to design this exactly right. Uh, it is quite a lot of small differences to our normal drawers, just from the shape of the carcass and things like that, so we've been able to get it fit exactly right. Now basically it's just two drawers and the table, okay, that's our standard cruiser setup. You can put a fridge light on top, um, a few other bits and pieces. So, I'll show you, very simple, just a drawer like that, okay. Now the cruiser, as you know, has got uh, a little bit less space in the back, so it's vital that we make these as big as we can. And with our drawers, with the, the no uh, steel runners, with our Teflon runner system underneath, you get a lot more internal space. Okay, so it's the largest drawers on the market. Slide beautifully as you can see. This is our table here, and that works as a great bench of course. And you can pull that out as well. Okay, and that makes a great little table. So you've got that with you everywhere you go. Alright. Uh, now the drawer on this side is just slightly higher in size, uh, plenty of room for you know all your bits and pieces. Got some of the nice Snow Peak tote bags here, they fit in there perfectly. Um, we've also got a small insert drawer, this is really handy for black tape, I've got some straw and deflators, a lighter, just little bits and pieces. Okay, that fits in there like that, uh, got the divider there, and of course slides beautifully as well. Uh, we've got the checker plate aluminium strip on the back here. Now the most uh, common slide we use is this slide here. Okay, it's the only one that fits. We've got to do a small, a few small changes to make it fit just exactly right. You need to nip a little bit off the back and uh, a couple of things like that. So this slide's great. Uh, we often put in a board here just a just a, um, a carpet covered board because the slide, you know, when you haven't got the fridge in place, it's got a big hole in it. All slides are the same, so we're putting this nice board in there, right? It means that you can still just use that for luggage or anything else you like. So we normally put that in there. Now a couple of the small extras we do is this piece here, and that's what we call the fridge divider. Um, of course, if you've got a fridge here and you pull it out and you've got gear lined up in the back here or stacked up, it often falls down behind the fridge. So a small fridge divider there keeps that area nice and neat and enables you to stack that a little bit higher. Um, you can see this bit of carpet on the back here. Okay, It's the same carpet as we do the drawers. And the problem with these, uh, the plastic here on the FJs and the Prados, it scratches very easily. Okay, So you'll soon get scratches from your fridge and other cargo. So We've been supplying a bit of this carpet that you can just hook in there underneath your uh, headdress and it protects all across there. So that's quite good. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Now it bolts in very easily. Uh, there's a couple of tight end points you have to remove. There's one there and one there and two at the back. So basically it's a 10 minute job to fit the drawers and easy to take them out as well. Now I'll show you these drawers here, that's one we've made and we're going to be sending out on Monday. Okay, so that's what they look like uh, before they go in. One of the important things is we've got this little cutout here, okay, and that's of course for your jack in the side there. So uh, it means that you can pull this drawer right out, right, and as you can see, you can access in there, and that lines up perfectly for where the jack is stored uh, in here, and means there's no dead space. So you can still access the jack. It's very easy to pull the drawers out. You can see there's a spring bolt at the back here. Okay, if you latch that down, the drawers can't come right out. Okay, just drop the latch down, and they can come out. I'll show you a quick thing with the fridge. Okay. Uh, you need really power on this side. The fridge is best placed on the passenger side here. 
Um, it doesn't have to be, but the Waco bridge works better. Now you need to have the power relocated up into this point here, or if you've got an ingle, say, on the driver's side, then the, the, the uh, plugs are normally down here, they're in the road completely. You need to move them up in here behind the tail light. So that needs to be done if, you do, if you're running a fridge. Uh, here's a bit of carpet that we put in, we call it the seat protector. And there's the uh, little fridge divider, which we just uh, screw in place there. Okay. Now I'll show you a couple of things with these drawers. All right, so we can pull that drawer right out. Now underneath there you can see the Teflon runners. Okay, it's a plastic polyethylene, which is very similar to a Teflon. We call it a Teflon, easier to say. Okay, and you can see the matching Teflon runner underneath here. So that's what it's sliding on, the Teflon on Teflon, which means it slides beautifully and you don't have the expense and the wasted space and all the trouble of the metal runners. We've got nice stainless steel latches here. Okay, you're lockable. They're very good quality stainless steel. Okay, so... And you can also see that the drawers are fully carpeted inside. All right, they're very nicely done. Carpeted on the front. The dividers are all carpeted as well. So it's a beautifully made product. Yeah. Right, and of course you get the uh, free drifter stubby holder as well with every drawer. All right, now I just want to show you how light the unit is. I'll pull that table out. Okay, so that's the carcass there. Uh, when you go to install it in your vehicle, you pull the drawers out like that and the carcass then is very light. Okay, you can see that. You know, it's very lightweight and that's quite easy to manage putting it in. Once you've got it bolted in place, then you can put the drawers in and that's all you have to do. Okay, so you can see there's a, a bolt hole here and also down here. So they, there's some bolts provided that go into an existing bolt hole. And on the back, okay, we have some brackets there, two brackets, and again, they go into existing bolt holes. So there's basically four bolts and go straight in place. Okay, there's no drilling holes or anything. So you can see how we've designed it with the little lip coming up over the top here. Uh, that's to sort of shape it over here so there's no gap where things can fall down in the sides there. And I think that's pretty much it. So all on the website. Um, yeah, just have a look there. Got the video of course and if you're not sure of anything or got an inquiry, just give us a call or an email and we'll sort it out. Thanks very much. Uh, these are all the FJ drawers being built here. Uh, this is where we built those. This one here is actually uh, a little vertical for the FJ Cruiser. So you can see the shape and the, you know, the trouble we've gone to to get this right. Drawers on top here. There's a table here. And a larger drawer underneath. And okay, you can see that's a vertical setup. And with the fridge uh, slightly lower. So we can do that. Okay, so here's our cruiser here. Um, you know, we were in America two years ago, the same time that we found the Snow Peak fire pits and everything. And FJ Cruisers are everywhere over there. They're only just being released in Australia at the time. Um, but we saw them everywhere and we thought, uh, yeah, we've got to get one of these. So it's been a great little vehicle. Um, got a few mods on it. We've uh, been really looked after by Chris from Tari Off Road. And he's the ARB deal up there in Tari. Uh, got the AOB uh, roof rack on the top, got the full roof rack. The, the FJ standard rack is not very good, the Toyota one, uh, but the full roof rack's great. Empty Zeds. Um, we've got two inch lift on it with some old man EMU shocks, um, rock sliders, and UHF on the front, uh, AOB bull bar, and um, lights so yeah it's a great little vehicle and um, we uh, have a lot of fun in it.